click on the subscribe button, and press the bell icon, to never miss any updates. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين All the praises to Allah سبحانه وتعالى the Lord of the universe and salutations and peace be upon to our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his household, his companions, all our forefathers and our relatives, friends, whoever passed away and on all of us here tonight and our offspring until the day of Kama. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala give us the reward for all the things we do for him. <clears throat> In Surah Baqarah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, 186 ayat. And when my servants ask about me, concerning about me, then Indeed, I am near. I respond to the invocation of the supplication when he calls me. So let them respond to me and believe in me so that they may be led aright. Alhamdulillah, we responded today. This is Allah SWT's wa call. We all want to go to Jannah. Before we go to Jannah, where do we have to go? Where do we have to go? This is a three letter word. This is a scary word. We have to die. To go to Jannah, we have to die. But no one wants to die. We know that Jannah is more beautiful, but we don't want to, we don't, we don't want to die. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, My Ummah will live between 60 to 70 years. Alhamdulillah, most of us here more than 50. First 25 years is a learning period. Second 25 years is a gaining period. We make wealth, we have our family, everything. And the next, let's get the highest, 70. So 20 years, this is the giving years. We learn in our life, this is a race. When you go for a race, nobody look who, is, who started first. Everybody look who ended first. So whoever gained, the success is whoever ended peacefully and fast in that ending point. So making Evada is also is a race. So let's do this tonight, inshallah. Now, during this race, we have to remember to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the time. <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Munafiqun, ayat number 9, 10, and 11. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu la tulhikum amwalukum wa la awladukum an zikrillah. وَمَنْ يَفْعَلْ ذَلِكَ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْخَاسِرُونَ وَأَنْفِكُوا مِمَّا رَزَكْنَاكُمْ مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ يَأْتِ أَحْدَكُمُ الْمَوْتُ فَيَقُولَ رَبِّ لَوْ لَا أَخَّرْتَنِي لَوْ لَا أَخَّرْتَنِي إِلَىٰ أَجَلٍ قَرِيبٍ فَأَسْوَدَّكَ وَلِكُمْ مِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ O oh, you who believe, let not your wealth and your children divert you from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and whoever does that, then they are the losers. And spend from what we have provided you before death comes to one of you. And he says, my Lord, 
Why do you not delay me for a brief term? So I would give charity and give among the righteous and be among the righteous. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never delay a soul when his time has come and Allah is all aware of what we do. Now, I know the people in the emergency room. Doctors are busy saving that person, trying to do CPR. The person is out worried about their children, what they're going to eat tomorrow, was well, signing the checks because their children will be hungry tomorrow. Look at the brother who died with his father in New Zealand. He left a 15 days old child. So in the house, only the mother and the, his wife and the 15 year old child. There's nobody to help. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make that person Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take care of that. Now, we think about when we retire, one person was telling me, I'm going to retire and I have a vacation house, I'm going to sell it. After he retired, he came to me and I, I said, did you sell that house? He was smiling at me, he said, I bought another house. <laughs> so, we, we are hungry for the wealth, for this dunya. We will never finish that. Yes. Now, brothers and sisters in Islam, there are so many masajid, alhamdulillah, around us. This is a good thing. But, did we think about our children, our future? What will be in 50 years? Who will pray in those masjid? One Jewish man came to me and he was saying, you know, in our religion, if we are three Jewish in one area, we need four synagogues. It's been happening in our community nowadays. What's happening to the masjid now? None of those are enriched in knowledge. Very few. Struggling with finances. Leaders are in tug of war for power. Leaving the main focus on our youth, children, spouses. Rather trying to establish their ego. Not following Quran and Sunnah as supposed to do. Criticism on our, the, the Imams who are doing the great job, like Sheikh Yasir Khadi, Zaki Naik, and including Imam Shamsi Ali. They are doing the job what we are supposed to do. All the leaders are supposed to take care of those non-believers and our youth who are misguided, who don't know what to do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave a warning for those leaders. <clears throat> Let me just read that. يَوْمَ تُكَلَّبُ وُجُوهُمْ فِي النَّارِ يَقُولُونَ يَا لَيْتَنَا أَطْعَنَ اللَّهَ وَطَعْنَ الرَّسُولُ وَقَالُوا رَبَّنَا إِنَّا فَعْنَا سَدَتَنَا وَكُبَرَعَنَا فَعْضَلُّونَ سَبِيلًا رَبَّنَا آتِيهِمْ ضِعْفَيْنِ مِنَ الْعَزَابِ وَلَعْنُهُمْ لَعْنًا كَبِيرًا The day their faces will be turned about in the fire, they will say, Oh, we wish we had obeyed Allah and obeyed Allah's messenger. And they will say, Our Lord, indeed we obeyed our leaders and our great man, and they misled us from the right way. Our Lord, give them double punishment and curse them with a great curse. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me some time to serve the masjid. Wallahi, if I would have little knowledge, like I'm trying to, I'm a student, 
I will not take that position. Lot of brothers and sisters are not thinking that well. Now, Ramadan is coming. Let's forgive each other. This is the first thing we have to do in this month, in Shaban, to prepare ourselves. I would like to ask forgiveness from all of you tonight because this ego in this world, this forgiveness is nothing if we get forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And let's forgive each other Let's build all the pending job we have, like Baitul Aman Islamic Center. Let's finish those first. When the brothers come to me, we're buying another, you know, church or synagogue or mandir. We're going to build the masjid. I don't get excited. I get very disturbed with that news. Did you finish those? You know, one daughter was saying, to his father, I have been going to this library so many times. Today I'm going to go to a different library. The father was asking daughter, did you finish all the book in this library? So my appeal to you, those pending works, al school, different masjid, so many masjids on Hillside Avenue, they are, they are struggling. Let's finish all these projects. Then we think if we, if we feel we need more projects, then we do it. All the leaders should sit together, think, to, think together what we are doing for our generation. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Many thanks to Brother um, Mr. Ahmed, Dr. Mr. Ahmed for giving me the opportunity. Jazakallah khair ITV, call of peace, save humanity.